So I was talking about golf shafts, graphite shafts. So if you look at uh, Aldilla or um, the UST Pro Force, they're all excellent golf shafts. They all feel a little different. So I would definitely, you know, if you go to a good club maker or, or a good retailer, they'll usually have a couple of demos there with, uh, with this, a style of iron that you like, just so you can get a feel for the shaft. Now once you've got the shaft material and the shaft flex, then you're all set. We just need to make sure that you've got the right lie, right? the right lie angle with the club. And all that takes is just a deflector board. They come out with a little plexiglass board. They'll put some uh, impact tape on the bottom of the, of the, on the sole of the club. And they'll have you hit some shots on the board. And then you're going to see some marks. If the mark is too much toward the toe, that means the club is too flat and they're gonna to have to make it a little more upright. And if the, the mark is toward the heel, then you have to make it a little, more, a little flatter. Now, as far as that's concerned, your grip, you, know, you have to have a really good grip to make sure that you get the right fit. Because, I'll give you an example, if you hold the club too much across the palm of the hand, then notice how the, the toe of the club is on the ground and the heel is off the ground. And then when you're hitting shots with that, it'll give you a, a, um, a very irregular upright lie, all right? So make sure that you're holding the grip in a position where you feel you can squeeze it. And then when you take your posture, your hands are gonna be a lot more underneath your shoulders. And you, you should see that the, the toe of the club is slightly off the ground. Your, the sole of the club should not lie flat. When the, when the club is properly fit for you, okay? If you're trying to keep it flat and you're adjusting your grip in order to keep the club flat, well, you're going out about it the wrong way. Make sure you got a solid grip. You notice here when I'm fully hinged down, you see a nice little angle here. You don't want that to be straight. Imagine that being straight right here and you're gripping down on the club, you would have a lot of bruises on your forearms, okay? so. When you hold it properly, there should still be a nice angle here between the arm and the club shaft, and this will give you the optimum read for the sole of the club to find the right lie of the sole of the club. And, you know, if your, your spine angle changes a lot, if you see your, your, you know, your swing analysis, your spine angle changes a lot. If you stand up a lot in your swing, you will have an irregularly, you know, upright reading on the sole of the club. And then if you get that club adjusted that way, when you receive your clubs, you're gonna be like this at address. You're gonna think, this can't be, All right? So solid posture, skip it through. And if you keep getting, you know, way too upright a read, there's something going on in your swing that you should address with your local professional or, you know, have a look at my YouTube videos, making sure that you maintain your, your posture through the golf swing. So your spine angle stays the same through the golf swing and that's making sure that your butt swivels out of the way and then returns out of the way. You know, the Hogan power drill, the Hogan power move, have a look at that. And make sure that you've got a solid grip. So if you go to my grip two wrist hinge, making sure that you've got a solid grip with the golf club. Barring that, we've got the right lie, the right shaft, the right shaft flex, and the right grip. There may be a small adjustment in the length of the shaft. So if you're an overly tall person, like my shafts are about a, a half inch longer than standard, okay, because I'm 6'1 with short arms. And if you're a, a much shorter person, uh, let's say for guys around 5'5", five 5'4", foot five, five foot then you're look, you, you'll be looking at about half inch to you know, almost an inch shorter than standard men's. Uh, and if you're a five foot nine gal, then you know, standard for women is around five foot four. So you'll look at getting your clubs to, be, to get lengthened. Now, if you lengthen the club, it'll add weight. So look for a lighter shaft, okay? And if you shorten the club, you'll take away a lot of the weight. So if you're a strong person, but short, look for a heavier shaft, okay? So with these guidelines, you should have it right and you should be able to get yourself a solid set of irons. If you have any questions, let me know.